Hey, hey, Scorpio, intuitive soul coach here with your May 2023 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Scorpio, the key theme showing up for you in the month of May, you have the great outdoors, body talk, and you also have a second chance. So this is a really powerful dynamic. Overall here, I feel like a lot of you are working on your wealth and your health. You're also looking at reconnecting, centering yourself. I'm getting here that a lot of you are sick and tired of the old way of doing things or some sort of routine, and there's a big shakeup coming. I feel like you are getting back in touch with your self-confidence. Scorpio, I feel like you are practicing possibly new exercise techniques, new stress management techniques, and a lot of you are focused focusing on self-care and self-love throughout the month of May. And this can bleed out into all areas of your life, including career, relationships, as well as uh, your home life. I'm getting some of you may even be you may even be moving towards creating a more sacred space, a more secure space. Uh, there's something here with stability, so you may be even rearranging, updating items. Uh, I'm getting here some of you may need replacing of items and that could be something as large as an appliance or it could be replacing some old clothing. So going through and doing maybe a little bit of spring cleaning or even DIY projects. Now the great outdoors is a really powerful one to have right away because you're reconnecting to source. You're reconnecting to beautiful mother earth and I feel a lot of you you've lost touch or you just felt disconnected and this is the month that you really go inward it doesn't surprise me with mercury retrograde and everything that's been going on in the collective and within the planetary alignments but a lot of you are I keep hearing sick and tired of being sick and tired so if you have been wanting to gain more momentum, if you've been wanting more energy, or just do things that bring more joy, happiness, and fun into your world, Scorpio, I do sense that getting outside this month will do you well. Whether it's getting out and going hiking, going for a walk, going paddle boarding, kayaking. If you're traveling, you may be spending more time outdoors. This could even be having a barbecue or a family get together. Now, for others of you, I feel like this is a really good month to disconnect from maybe um, society or disconnect for a period of time from maybe electronics. I do sense there's a reset here, especially because your final card is second chance and you also have this regeneration card. So there's a huge change coming in here for, uh, for you, Scorpio, but it, you initiated this change. You're ready for it. Now, the great outdoors also talks about wide open spaces. Some of you need to clear your mind and you actually work better when you are either in solitude or you are out in nature, you may get some of your best ideas and even your best meditations may come through walking meditations. And if you're not familiar with that, it may be something you want to check out, especially if you've been trying to meditate, but sitting in the meditation position in, uh, you know, Ohm is not helping you or it's not uh, doing you well, you may benefit from doing a walking meditation that can help you connect even more. So this is also about just unplugging, and that's what I feel here, especially the first couple of weeks of uh, May, because you start off with the Knight of Pentacles here, so it may be a slow-moving energy towards the first week or two of May, but things definitely speed up for you towards the end of the month. So get outside if you can, do some camping, get out in nature, surround your home with items from the earth, plants and herbs and flowers, things of that nature, as well as crystals. Uh, I'm getting here. Some of you may have recently saged your home or you may have lit an incense or you may have cle cleared the energy through maybe singing bowl. I'm just getting clearing the space of your home to create more safety, security, and just overall good vibes. So we also have body talk here, Scorpio. A lot of you are focused on the way you look, the way you feel, and this is going to affect the way you look as well because if you're not feeling good, you're going to 
to start to implement new things, new foods, maybe new exercise routines, or just getting rid of toxic situations or energies. Instead of heading towards them, I feel like you have this awareness that this is not good for you. You may be taking different routes or different paths. So for example, let's say you are on your way to work each morning and there's a Starbucks or maybe a McDonald's and you're used to driving by and picking something up on the way, you may decide to go in a different direction so you have a new path. Not only are you not being tempted by something that is tempting, but you are switching up the energy by trusting your intuition to go in a new direction here. So I feel a lot of you are receiving downloads, you're receiving messages. Now, if you do have some sort of an ailment, I feel like this is the month that you are digging in deeper. Now, you may have already been to a doctor. You may be digging, uh, taking a step further by maybe going to a naturopath, going to a healer, getting Reiki done. I'm sensing that you are also diving into your own education, your own knowledge about a situation here. You may be researching what uh, diets or what foods are best for you. You may even be reading, because they're showing me here a uh, medical medium. So you may be reading about um, different foods and the, the properties that they have when it comes to healing the body. Now, no affiliation here um, with medical medium, but very good books. This is about loving yourself more, Scorpio, exercising more, taking care of your mental health, body image, and also chakra healing. Some of you have really had to work through insecurities around the body. You may have put on a little bit of extra weight, whether this was due to uh, you know, the, the pandemic, maybe it was due to having children, or you've just lost touch with your routine. I'm sensing that, again, I keep getting here, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. So whatever it is that you want to get back into, I feel you have a second chance to do so. This could pertain to career. Perhaps some of you went from uh, maybe being on your feet more or being more active to working from home, working remotely or sitting more. I feel like this is about you getting up and moving and that's why you have the outdoor energy because it's really going to spark something within you to keep on going, stay consistent with a new goal or a new action because I get that you're taking action here, especially once we get out of this retrograde period around the 14th of May. Yes, we're still in the shadows, but I feel like for you, you're thinking the coast is clear and the energy shifts completely. And towards the end of the month, you're feeling really good about some of the choices and decisions that you are making for yourself. Now, your final themed card here, Scorpio, is second chance. This reminds me of the judgment card in tarot. It, it's about changing your life for the better. It's something that sometimes we, we need to hit that rock bottom or, again, sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? This is about you evaluating your world, what's working, what's not. This is about an awakening, a rebirth, a rite of passage. You've already undergone some sort of difficulty or challenge when it comes to maybe physical health, emotional, mental uh, stress as well, whether it pertained directly to your health, maybe it was career that affected health, relationships, but I am sensing here there's a do-over coming in. There's a review happening here, a life review that you are taking inventory of and you're saying, what can I do differently because I'm in a rut and I need to get out of it. There's a little bit of uh, possibly needing that push and I feel like this is the push that you've been waiting for. This is also about a better, better offer coming in. For some of you, if you've been looking to maybe move careers or if you've been looking for an opportunity, it's been a long time coming. It may have even felt hard. Uh, or stuck, or maybe you felt too cautious to take a risk, or maybe you didn't have that motivation to take that risk. It's coming in here and you have this opportunity to rebuild, to start over, to hit that reset button, Scorpio. So this is really powerful. I love these key themes in, in trio here for you. Now, the beginning of May, the first week or two, you have the Knight of Pentacles followed by the Three of Pentacles. So it's been a slow yet steady 
even if you can't quite see it necessarily, you, there has been movement. That's how the Knight of Pentacles feels sometimes that you've completely stalled or got stuck, but there's still movement. There's still growing and opportunities brewing below the surface here. And it's about you being in alignment, but I'm also getting that you haven't felt like you've been supported or had the right help, or you just didn't have that extra external, maybe push or motivation that you were seeking. This three of Pentacles says that the right people are showing up for you this month at the right time. This is about accepting support, accepting, being receptive to it as well as giving. There's reciprocity happening here and I feel like you're calling in your soul tribe. You are reaching out because this is the card of resourcefulness. The three of pentacles is about teamwork, cooperation. Yes, many people play different roles here on earth and it's up to us to gravitate towards these people and hone in on their skills and talents because being able to use their skills and talents not only helps them, but it helps us in return. So I feel like there's the equal give and take. You are receiving some sort of help, guidance, support, teamwork, efforts, energy. And if someone wasn't pulling their weight, whether in a job, in a career, uh, relationship, or even if you didn't feel like you held yourself accountable, I feel like that's about to shift. You're either telling someone, hey, uh, pick up your, your game here. This is time for us to work together and move forward. We need to make a choice. We cannot be stuck in this situation any longer. So I feel like there's healthy boundaries here. Someone is speaking what's on their mind and they're, they're directing some sort of change. Now for others of you, I feel like you're finding people that can hold you accountable. Not that you can't do that on your own, Scorpio, but it certainly helps. When you think of, you know, going to the gym, sometimes if, if it's completely up to us, we have those other temptations, right? If we didn't have someone maybe sitting in the seat next to us saying, no, don't go to McDonald's on the way to work or, you know, Starbucks, uh, let's go to this fruit smoothie place over here. You may not have that extra uh, validation or that extra encouragement, right? And so I feel like you are attracting the right people that can help you on your soul's path, lead a healthier life in all areas, body, mind, and soul. So definitely helpful people coming in here, but you're moving closer to them, although it feels like you've been at a standstill. Some of you have, have been asking for your soul tribe, maybe even soul mates. Uh, for others of you, you've been wanting to feel the sense of belonging or connection, and I feel like you're heading towards it. Now, mid-month here, you have a lot of change because you have the five of pentacles and the eight of cups. You're, you're sick and tired of feeling like you're left out in the cold, whether you've been applying for a million different jobs, whether you've been trying to build your business or attract soul tribe, family. Some of you have been alienated from family or friends here. And I feel also that some of you just kind of hibernated, went into recluse mode in the recent past. And this energy here is all about you getting yourself up out of maybe a money issue, health issue, bankruptcy. Uh, some of you, it's poverty conscious mindset, the lack of, I don't have enough friends, I don't have enough money, uh, I don't feel safe, I don't feel secure. So instead of you feeling like you don't have all of these things that maybe you subconsciously are attaching yourself to, you're taking a look at it from a brand new angle because you're realizing that the old way of thinking isn't helping you out any. You're realizing that there are windows of opportunity here for you to head towards Scorpio. And you see in the background, there are five windows there that are lit up. But sometimes she focuses on the loss. She focuses on the negative, the past, or what she does not have. You're saying, I'm not a victim. I'm not staying in this low frequency energy any longer. I am moving forward. And that's what the Eight of Cups says here. You are moving forward up out of a situation to walk towards your wish fulfillment. The Eight of Cups may be leaving something behind. They may need to abandon a situation, especially a situation where there is no reciprocity, which you have showing up here with the Six of Pentacles. You want someone, whether it's a partnership, a family member, a friendship, you don't want to be the first one to pick up the phone and call them all the time, right? You don't want to be the first one that is putting in all the effort. 
it's not necessarily about just being the first one. That's okay. Maybe you have that personality to pick up the phone first uh, or to, to make the first move. However, there's got to be that equal give and take. They've got to want it too. And I feel like there may be someone around you that just may be slacking, not pulling their weight, or you just can't, whatever you do, it, it feels like you can't get through to them, Scorpio. And you may be leaving something, someone, or a belief, a pattern, a habit, or this negative thinking, right, behind. You are leaving it behind to head towards something that's way more fulfilling. And in order for you to do that, look at her. She is outside. She is surrounded by the great outdoors, by nature, right? She has those uh, the butterflies, which represents transformation, along with the dragonflies. There's these two birds over here. Uh, there's some beautiful flowers. It looks like a thin path to walk. It looks like a dark path. She may be unsure where she's going, but the good news is she's trusting her intuition to lead the way. And she knows that wherever she's walking towards is going to be better than the rut that she was stuck in. So Scorpio, pat yourself on the back for making this choice, this free will choice to move forward up out of something that may have kept you stuck, even if it was a pattern or a thought process or uh, a belief around money or around, uh, you know, that victim mentality. And we all go through that. We all kind of get down in, in the dumps at times. We can all play that victim mode, but it's what you do with it and how long you stay in that energy. And I feel like you've already been in that energy where you're ready to move on from it. Now, towards the end of the month, things start to, to pick up and you start to see that either the conversation or boundary that you've set with a per person, place, or thing here is finally, uh, you're seeing that your inner world is matching your outer world with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, you're moving on. Look at this. Five of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles to the Eight of Cups here to finally the Knight of Wands. So you're making progress. You go from the three to the five to the six. This is moving forward. This is second chance here. A second chance for, you know, um, that equal give and take. So whatever area felt imbalanced or off kilter, I feel like you're finding that balance towards the end of May. And actually, it's going to allow you to move forward, jump through hoops, and be enthusiastic about some new opportunities because you've shifted the vibration. You've shifted by going within and saying, what is not working? What makes me feel uncomfortable? What do I need to address in order to fully move forward? And that's what this Knight of Wands does. However, sometimes this Knight of Wands, and I, I like this showing up for you because that Knight of Wands can, can be inconsistent at times where they're just looking for their next grand adventure, right? I do feel like this Knight of Wands for you is the catalyst that you need to keep that momentum. Even if you change speeds or even if you switch to uh, you know a different energy, I do feel like this is gonna keep you in that momentum. Also, I'm getting thyroid for some of you. Please seek medical professional guidance, but I am sensing something with thyroid. Uh, you may wanna get thyroid levels checked or some of you may even have maybe hypo or hyperthyroidism. Please take that as it resonates. Now, Knight of Wands here as well. This is showing up because I feel like there's an exciting new adventure and you're finally ready and brave enough to head towards it. Where in the past, you were like, eh, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know. I feel like things are just kind of coasting, but you've had it to the point where you don't want to be so cautious like maybe you were in the past. And this is a big change. It's a big transformation. You've been thinking about something for quite some time or you've been wanting to make this change for quite some time, but sometimes it's more comfortable to binge watch and eat Oreos while you're watching Netflix, right? Or watching your favorite show. Sometimes it's easier just to, uh, you know, come home from work and make something quick and, you know, go to bed. Whatever your routine is, I feel like you're shaking it up a little bit and you're saying there's so much more to life than this old routine that I was stuck in. So definitely moving forward and you're feeling that flow of energy. Now, some of you, you may have felt stuck even in the, the hips, the knees, the legs, and that walking or getting out in nature will actually shift that energy from from stuck uh, to more flow and we'll talk about um, energetic health here as we move forward 
please see the disclaimer in the description box below. All right, let's take a look at money, income, career, and wealth. So you have here an interesting dichotomy. You have the skull, the pendulum, followed by the clover, and they actually came out in that order. So I do feel for a lot of you, you, you went through a rough patch. You may still be picking up the pieces of a financial strain or challenge, whether it was bankruptcy, foreclosure, some of you have had to borrow money. Uh, you may have made or purchased an investment, a very large one that you're still paying off here because you do have the five of pentacles. But I sense that you have either found a way to maybe a decrease, a payment, consolidate, pay it off early, uh, adjust. There's something here with speeding up the process of some sort of financial healing here. This can be about a rough patch, borrowing money, feeling a little bit lower on cash. And if this is you, I feel towards the end of the month, you're hitting some sort of lucky break with the clover. Something you've been stressing about, you will be able to find a, sol a solution for. Now you may be Scorpio in hospice, you may be a healer, right? We talked about that a little bit earlier, especially if you are into this body talk. Some of you may be an inspirational leader, uh, a yogi, others of you are chakra healers, Reiki practitioners, or you may be helping other people feel empowered. I'm also getting something with nutrition here. You may be a nutrition coach. Uh, or you may be teaching people about foods, again, because they're pointing to that book, Medical Medium. Um, I feel like you're teaching people how to heal from the inside out. That may be a career or a passion of yours. And I feel like there's finally movement when it comes to something that really sparks your soul. Now, for others of you, you have been out of work, possibly. That's why you have the Knight of Pentacles. Stuck, stalled, but things happening behind the scenes where finally you may be getting a hit towards the end of the month. Others of you, you have been reinventing yourself. And it's been scary. It's been challenging. You've been waiting. Uh, you've been kind of wading through the ebb and flow, right? And sometimes it feels like you're stuck in the mud and sometimes it feels feels heavy, like you're wearing these waders and you are going through the muck and it feels like you're stuck and you can't quite take that next step. I'm kind of getting that energy for some of you in the past. But the good news is with this pendulum, yes, there may have been fluctuating income. Yes, some of you are coming up with new strategies. You may have even felt indecisive, but this was temporary. And that's what a lot of you are finally realizing that conditions are temporary. Uh, the only thing that is constantly, uh, you know, moving or constant is is change and i feel like this is a moment of awakening for you here scorpio now there could be seasonal work you may be making changes around your career for others of you this is definitely about making choices to change careers change career paths uh, head in a new direction here, and that is going to pay off. That is your winning ticket, your lucky break here. So whatever it is that you've been contemplating, however you have been reinventing yourself, if you've been really on the edge of a great change when it comes to your finances, your money, this could be real estate, making a move, uh, starting up a business, expanding, whatever this is for you, Scorpio, it's big. So take that risk, take that gamble, be brave enough to move forward here instead of sometimes we we don't want to risk it we are too cautious because we don't know how it's gonna end up sometimes it's the roll of the dice here but I do feel that there's change coming in and this change is inevitable if you move towards this which it looks like you are but you have free will you don't have to you can stay where you're at completely up to you you're gonna hit that lucky break that you've been waiting for so this is really powerful when it comes to your career or money or income. Let's take a look here at love. Now, some of you are single. You may meet someone while you are in the great outdoors or doing something that you love. I'm getting some of you want to meet someone who is more athletic or in shape or they have a, a spontaneous energy about them where they want to go travel, go on adventures. They may love the great outdoors. They may work outside as well, I'm getting. Um, but this is worth waiting for. And some of you, you're saying, Melissa, I've been waiting a while for my equal give and take. I've been waiting a while. I've been left out in the cold for long enough. I'm ready. And if that's the case, you could be meeting a Knight of Wands, someone who is spontaneous, someone who does want to 
go on adventures, travel, eat at new restaurants, uh, go on a spontaneous weekend road trip, right? You're meeting someone here in the near future, possibly, who is definitely worth waiting for. So it says divine timing is at work in your love life. Some of you may be in a relationship, and this could be a karmic relationship, past life. Uh, this, this says here, you have known each other before, so you may be planning to take something to the next level uh, or to spice things up a little bit because you want more intimacy or you want more love, you want more connection. It may be very beneficial for you to get away. I'm also getting with this body talk card as well. Some of you may have been worried or concerned that you weren't... Uh, you weren't attractive to your partner, but I do feel like they find you attractive, okay? Some of you may need to hear that. Uh, or you don't feel attractive uh, towards your partner. Maybe you're not attracted towards your partner. I feel like you're finding solutions and finding ways to move forward if you are in a relationship. But for all of you, you deserve love. You absolutely are lovable. This is a fact, right? Because you are love. You come from love. You are whole. This says here that you deserve love. And I feel that a lot of you, they're showing me this uh, this bow, this bow and arrow. And a lot of times, well, every time when you go to shoot a bow and arrow, uh, you have to pull back, right? You pull back. So sometimes we, we feel like we have to pull back from a situation. Um, but really, we can decide to stay there in that, that pull back energy where we can disconnect because of fear. Maybe we're afraid to get hurt. But ultimately, we can decide to let go, let go of those fears. And then that arrow, whoosh, it goes forward and can shoot that target where we want it to go. So I'm getting something here with setting clear intentions. If you want love, don't hold back. If you want to increase intimacy or if you want to attract, you have here three of pentacles, but some of you may have been in a third party situation in the past uh, that was uncomfortable or it doesn't have to be cheating. I mean, some of you may be, but this could even be third party where someone chose works, chose, you know, anything before the relationship. And it really, it put a little bit of a damper on uh, or a strain between the two of you. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look at soul truth. Uh, these are messages that I recommend jotting down or pausing, really diving into and thinking about. And it's interesting that you have the word focus. And I pulled these cards completely random, but there's a, such a different plethora of them. I don't do them on camera because I like to, to dig right into it. Sometimes I have people say, well, well, it's rigged, right? What, what, what's the point of that, right? Uh, we have here... What am I focused on? Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? And your other question here is, am I focused on what I want most? So again, these two kind of go hand in hand. Some of you are focused on what you are, are uh, losing. And we talked about that here, especially with the five of pentacles. But I feel like you're going to start to switch that perspective and focus on the gain, not the loss. And it says, are you going through some change, Scorpio? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings, right? They absolutely are. And there was some sort of an ending or you may be ending a cycle as mentioned prior, whether it's a person, place, thing, thought, behavior, pattern, whatever this is for you. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through right? Make, make a list. Whether this is, uh, you know, exercise or a health change, it, whether it's shifting up your routine, whether you feel like you must sacrifice a piece of yourself in order to uh, appreciate and head towards a major goal, because that goal is going to be amplified. So that means that any sacrifice that you felt you had to take, maybe it's sacrificing 30 minutes of your day, uh, to exercise, or maybe it feels like a sacrifice to not eat that chocolate donut and head for that banana instead. But that's going to pay off in bigger ways than you could have ever imagined. And those are just small, minor examples. But I feel for a lot of you, this is a huge change that's going to affect your world. And I feel consistency is key here. And the more you focus on the gain, uh, the more that you will attract new opportunities. So it says here, I, let's see, feel your heart, 
take a breath and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming and they absolutely are, Scorpio. Next you have, am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Now, Tony Robbins says that. And in order for you to move fully forward, what you focus on grows. So you need to get clear on what you want that to be. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values? Maybe your values are wanting to be strong and healthy and live to be a ripe old age and accomplish all of your goals and your soul lessons that you chose here to do, but there's some sort of temptation that is throwing you off your, you know, your goal. That means your uh, beliefs your morals, your values are not aligning with how you are living. And this is about you making adjustments, prioritizing, and you have reflected here. And I see that showing up uh, in the month of May. Reflection leading to change, but there could also be some of you finally have just had enough. Maybe you've looked in the mirror and you said, I'm done. I need to, uh, to eat better. Or maybe you've been in this relationship and finally, I'm getting here this energy of the straw that broke the camel's back. So it's not something huge showing up that's going to bring in this change. It's something that's accumulated for quite some time. And it's it's something small and minor where people may say, oh, that's an overreaction. But really, you've just been hanging on to it for quite some time. Now you're ready to focus on what you truly need, match those values to what's going on externally. Taking action based on the values is going to help you move towards your wish fulfillment. Now, message here from your spirit guides, protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval, coming back home to you. And we talked about this as well. So some of you, you took a little detour. That's okay. We all go off track. But the good thing is you're coming back home to you, right? You're coming back home to you. Now, animal power messages. You have lizard spirit. It says, dream the world into being. Right? Dream that world into being because what it is that you want, what it is that you are aligning with internally is going to manifest externally. That's the six of pentacles, right? Being able to have that flow, which you have here. Lizard spirit creates the life that he wants, but he's also very adaptable, very flexible to change. He can he can blend in with his circumstances and his surroundings, and that helps him feel more secure. You trusting your values and living according to your values is going to help you internally feel more secure. And that's going to show up in security in your outer world. Now you have cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Yes, they are. And believe it because it's showing up here for you. And you also have antelope. Life is speeding up. So get ready. Put on those, uh, you know, those racing shoes because I feel like a lot of you are really getting ready to, to move forward. You may even be signing up for a marathon or a run. There was another sign that received this as well. I believe maybe it was even Taurus. But some of you may be signing up for um, a jog, a run, a marathon, marathon, a walk uh, for a foundation or for a good cause. But also it'll help you. So it's a double win. Now, some of you may be 38 years old. You have a birthday possibly on the 15th, the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 8th, or even the 12th. All right, last but not least here, you have the card of regeneration. And this is from the Wisdom of the Oracle. For those of you that are interested in the decks used during your reading or above, you can find all of that in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, final message here. This is about rebirth, second chances. Yeah, no such thing as coincidence here. It would take far too long for me to pull the cards that all synchronize together. So those of you that have been watching me for quite some time, you know that typically I shuffle on camera and these synchronizations happen all the time. So we have here regeneration. This is all about second chances, new opportunities. Second chances are available to you now. Whatever opportunities you thought were dead are now revived in a more authentic, stronger form. Whatever you may have perceived as a failure or loss is now being replaced 
by something better and more powerful growing in its place. This rebirth is assured. Step into your new life. Destiny is being fulfilled in wondrous ways. I love this for you. So yeah, don't be afraid to face, uh, you know, face moving forward here. There's no need to struggle or grieve. Whatever your query, let it go. You're about to be reborn, Scorpio. And this born again process is going to take you into this brand new energy. And you're going to wish you would have done it a long time ago. But sometimes we need to go through that ebb and flow. We need to go through those experiences or have those setbacks or those challenges. But there's a lot of powerful movement coming in here for you. I hope this resonates, beautiful Scorpios. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lots of love.